Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. In today's review, I'm covering a platformer called Jackaxe. This unique platformer's key focus is around the ability to throw an axe and fling yourself towards it. Story-wise, it's about a girl doing a man's job and fighting back against an angry god. This isn't really explained in-game, but from the Steam page, that's what it says it's all about. This story can be played with up to four players locally, and the camera will follow whoever moves away from the group. If at any point one player dies, they will take the role of an axe and be able to fly around and damage enemies. Five different difficulties are available to make it easier or more difficult if you would like. The easiest difficulty actually allows you to have infinite jumps to make platforming really easy, so keep that in mind if the game looks too difficult. Gameplay wise, you will be spending time solving puzzles, collecting coins, collecting gems, and defeating numerous enemies and bosses. Advancing in the game is done by collecting blue gems. These blue gems are used to open portals to the next world and you do this over and over until you reach the end of the game. Coins are used to buy cosmetic items, save at any point in the game, and open some doors. Saving at any point in the game is a feature that allows you to jump back to a safe spot upon death. This feature makes platforming a lot easier because you can just save at any point during a platforming puzzle and return to that spot upon death. Bosses are all unique and often very challenging, and that's pretty much all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say that I was really disappointed with this game. At first glance, this may look very simple, but the controls don't feel that snappy. The whole concept of flinging your axe and jumping to it feels very awkward and proves to be very difficult during most of the game. I feel the main problem with this game is that it's not advertised to be a difficult game. Yeah, you can change the difficulty, but it doesn't change how difficult the bosses are. Along with this, playing co-op is a nightmare when the camera tries to follow one character and leaves other characters behind. Besides all of that, the game does look great and the world is very charming. They definitely use the axe throwing ability to add some unique platforming to the game and that is easily the highlight of this game. The addition of having manual save points is a very welcomed addition to this game and I would love to see this in other platformers. I'm sure after some community feedback, this game will be tuned to be a better game, but currently, I'd have to give this game 7.5 pepperonis out of 10. Jackaxe is an ambitious platformer that shows some inventive platforming, but offers a steep difficulty that the game does not advertise to contain. Currently, I feel that most players that pick up this game will be rather disappointed to find out that this game is highly challenging. So if you're watching this, Make sure you understand that this game is not going to be that easy. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review to be helpful, or you would like to see more reviews, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.